Hello, my name is Tony. I just wanted to talk to you today about uh, my MFT style table from Festool. Um, I would love to have an MFT table. I don't have room for it in the shop and I haven't had the money to purchase one yet. Uh, there's a couple other tools I'd like to get from Festool before I get to that point. Um, but I kind of started in my little Festool world with just some of their clamps uh, before I could even get into their tools. I started uh, recently purchasing some of their tools and I don't think I'd ever go back. Um, they're just great pieces of equipment, well engineered. So anyway, but I wanna kinda tell you about how I've kinda laid out this table, built it really quick, and then how to use it with a track on there for a track saw. I have an off-brand track saw, so it works well on this. Um, one day, yes, I'd like to have the Fez tool uh, the TS-75 would be great, um, but we'll get to that when that happens. Um, anyway, the way I did this tabletop, basically, I routed this out. I made a basic template. It wasn't great. Uh, my holes are not perfectly aligned. Uh, there's probably a better way to do it, or there, I know there are better ways to do it now, but um, I essentially just laid it out using a this um, Freud straight bit. It's a 20 millimeter bit, so I can use the Fez tool clamps and such on it. Uh, these won't work on a um, three quarter inch, but if you're not going to be using Fez tool at all, you know, you could go with three quarter inch. I prefer the 20 millimeter, it's a little bit larger hole, easier to get things in and out of uh, as far as clamps. But uh, it's an inexpensive way to go. They have these drill bits. I found these online. I think I got these at eBay. Uh, it's a 20 millimeter drill bit. And that was probably about uh, three or four bucks. They're really cheap for those. So um, this didn't quite plunge all the way through. So I actually finished up with this. Um, I recently bought the CMT bit for my router. Uh, it's a 20 millimeter and it's designed for boring and stuff. So this would actually be the more better style to go with. You can go with the Festival one, which is probably about two or three times the price of the CMT one. <coughs> so that's an option too. The downside of the CMT being a 20 millimeter bit, the shaft is actually an eight millimeter. So if you don't have an eight millimeter call it, you're not gonna be able to use that bit. So just forewarning, the Fez to, or the, the Freud is actually a quarter inch shaft on that one. So, um, but basically I l laid it all out, plunged all the holes. One way you could do it, you could do it by drilling it. You can do everything four inches on center. Uh, the Fez tool, I think, is actually uh, 96 millimeters on center for all the holes. So whatever works best for you. Uh, most recently, I actually had a chance to have some water jetting done, and I added this into the mix. So I made a template for my next one. Um, essentially, all my holes are four inches on center. These are actually made to the size of one of my bushings for my router. And then I have a set of 20 millimeter holes that I can drop a bench dog into and then lock it into the last row of holes in order to keep everything straight and organized and have a very square grid. Right now mine isn't because of the way I did it. Um, but you live, you learn, and hopefully you figure out a better way to do it. Um, or you get somebody with the CNC and then they can route it all out and have it perfect for you the first time. Um, and anyway, um, so a couple things. I wanted to do is really let show you how I laid out uh, having a um, a guide rail here for doing repetitive cuts uh, for cross cutting. I could do up to a 40 inch cross cut, which is more than what you're going to get on the Fez Tool uh, MFT table. Underneath here, I've got let me pull up on that mm -hmm. essential. There we go. I've got some uh, rail dogs, is what they would be called. There's a uh, website uh, for quaz dogs, uh, and they make these dogs for the MFT 20 millimeter. They're all nicely machined, and they, uh, you know, you can get them to fit in here. And they also make a bench dog. Now these are not quaz dogs; these are actually quasi dogs. I made these. And I'll probably do a video where I show you how to make these, and I may even make them available if you don't have the tools to make them and you want to purchase my version, uh, you'd be more than welcome to. Uh, the difference on my version is I will probably make them all a little bit longer like this instead of short like this, because if they're longer, it doesn't matter because they just drop further down. 
but the heads are interchangeable. On the quasi dogs, they're not. So you would be able to take off the one for the dog, put on a different bolt, and then be able to slide it on the track. And that way they're more versatile rather than just being either or. Like the quasi dogs, I think you should be able to make them more versatile and for about the same cost. The quasi dogs are about, I think for the, the longer ones, like what I'm showing here, an example, it would be about $42, I think. And then for this size, are like 36 for two of them. So, um, but I'm gonna just drop this back in here, essentially. I have these locked in, and then what you would wanna do is to create a fence um, to be 90 degrees of that, I essentially just have a piece of wood that I'm using as my fence. I have a couple different clamps here. I have a festival clamp, and then I have a Bessie clamp, so that allows me, you know, you can get other clamps. You don't have to get the festival $40 clamp, you know. So, this is my cutoff piece of wood that I would be cutting as a sample, but um, essentially to lay this out, all you gotta do is get your piece of wood in, and taking a speed square here, or some sort of square, you want to just square it to the fence. Pretty simple. Then all you gotta do is drop in your your clamps, lock it in. Uh, this is a Bessie clamp. Actually, this doesn't normally come off. I sanded it so I could pull it off, so it would drop into these holes. And then these are less expensive, um, so I have a bunch of these. And then essentially lock it down. Then you're good to go. It's a simple thing. Now when you're going to you know cut wood and stuff i've got a a line drawn on here but you might be able to see it essentially you, know, you can just drop it in pull your wood out to your line line it up with your edge and because this is at a 90 all your cuts are going to be at 90. you can put your track saw on it and just cut across i keep a little scrap of wood on either side and on the, if you're working in I would normally be working from the other side cutting, so I can easily lift up that a little bit to slide wood underneath in order to get lined up, and then you can make your cross cuts all day. So it's a, if you don't have the money for a MFT table and you do have a track saw, um, you could, you know, if you have, make your own MFT style table, you know, you can essentially set up the, the same fix on your own table to do multiple cuts and stuff and large cross cuts. And um, you can, I would actually end up putting a quarter inch MDF underneath this stuff in order to cut through that. So I'm not even cutting through my tabletop. So I keep my tabletop pretty clean. I just have a piece of scrap MDF I put up underneath the, uh, the board I'm working on. And then I'll end up cutting that, scribing through the, the top of that when I'm making my cuts so I get through there and, not uh, cutting into my table. So if you have any questions, uh, drop me a line on the uh, under the comments there. I will. Um, I'll be. I'll probably be doing a video on how to make these, and then I may even make them available for if you're looking for um, bench dogs, or um, which will be usable as a bench dog or as a uh, track uh, rail dog, I guess. Um, so those will be some options and i'll probably even put a link to quaz dogs so if you want to go right to them get a nicely machined one uh, they do powder coating on you know you can get them powder coated uh, they're really nice um, so something to look at i'm not trying to get seal their business you know i'm just offering options so anyway uh, yeah if you have any questions drop me a line thank you my name is tony